the small tooth. That's your front tooth. All right, so this is your front tooth, the side tooth, the fake tooth that's missing, and then uh, I got another picture of the other one around it. So we're talking about four teeth that are involved. It's a bridge that has four teeth. So that one is decayed all the way through the tooth. So there's, it's decayed like to the nerve. There's the back tooth and it's broken and it's actually loose. So like if I pull on it, it moves like a diving board. Wow. Yeah. So here's the front tooth. There's the side tooth. There's the missing tooth. And then you can kind of see the darkness back there. Job, Karen. Good job. You did. You did. You did. Oh, you did good. Okay. Yeah. okay. So here, here's the bridge that we're talking about. This, these four teeth right here. So the whole left side of your mouth, because you, she doesn't have anything over here. So we're talking about the remnants of this. So this is a good tooth right here. This one. That one's broken. This one's broken. So these need to be taken out. Wow. Well. So we have to cut the bridge off. Uh, and then this one right here has a cavity as well under it. But I don't know how, how extensive it is. I just kind of explored it and it's starting to do the same thing that this one did. So we have to probably silver diamine fluoride eventually to try to get her teeth to stop softening. Otherwise she's gonna lose them all? Yeah, well, we're already lost these two, so probably, if it's possible, both financially and surgically, to maybe consider getting an implant. We tried to do that like about mm, eight, nine years ago, and they said that she didn't have enough gum or whatever it um, takes. Bone. Bone. Yeah. Bone, yeah. Well, it's a little different when you take a, a tooth out. Oh. Um, Versus trying to put it in where versus nothing. trying to put it in where they where it's been gone for a long time, because a lot of times you take those teeth out twenty years ago. By the time they get the consultation, it's all washed away. Gotcha. But at least when the tooth is there, a lot of times they can do the implant. So, for instance, she could have an implant there and an implant here, and she could get a, a new bridge retained with an implant. Which teeth are you saying implant where and where? Uh, implant on 10 and 10 12. And 12. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Or 11 and 13, whichever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they can like put an implant there and right behind it. And then we could get the bridge on sooner. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we have to wait about six months to do the bridge. So she's going to have to make a decision whether she wants to just let her ride or... Well, the downside to letting it ride is that right now this good tooth is supporting those two bad teeth. So literally it's like a diving board. Yeah, it's and good. So like if it's a long lever arm, which means like if she got into something really hard, yeah. she could break off her front tooth and then she would need to do an implant there and an implant there and do four teeth, which I mean, mm -hmm. I guess she's not any further, she's not even closer to the finish line by doing that, I guess. So it doesn't matter. In a way, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. We could save the front tooth right here, cut the bridge, do the implant, do the implant, and just sacrifice these three. Or she could ride it into the sunset and sacrifice all four when, it, when the time comes. We don't know when the time, you know, when it'll break. She's Could hoping be. tomorrow she's going to get to heaven, so. Yeah, I was going to say, depending <laughs> so on. So she when, keeps telling me. Depending me on when your, your chariot comes, <laughs> um, we That's a good way of saying. don't know. So. And we, some people some people just have them all removed and get false teeth, right? Yeah, and, and that, you know, again, she's got the whole right side, but one tooth has already got a cavity, so we need to work on that. Yeah. Is that number uh, eight? Eight, okay. yeah. Probably like a mesolingual amalgam or something. I'm not sure. Oh, brother. But we can patch some of those. Mm. Um, I can't patch a broken tooth, but I can patch a cavity. Yeah, yeah. 
So the cavity is what caused it to break, you know, on those two teeth. Now, looking at that angle, which is the tooth we came in for? To the right? These two right here. I can't see her. Yeah, yeah it's her left. Lane. It's her left. You see the... This, see this is... Oh, this... Oh, right here. All right, so it's this one right here. This one? Yeah. Wait, point to one. the... Dr. Hammer, point to... Yeah. Oh, that's the one she came in for? Yeah, oh, yeah that's yes. the one you're touching okay. right now. Okay, gotcha. All right, and then that's the one that's missing, the fake one. That I don't know when that got taken, when, however old your bridge is. And then that's the last tooth up there in the very back. Gotcha. These are all on the right side, so it's it's the opposite. So the right side is fine. Yeah, the it's right the side, side is all this metal gotcha. here. Wow. Jeez. Is it worth anything? Uh, silver? Wow, that looks terrible. Yeah, so that's it the... It looks like that tooth is going to fall right off, really. Well, see, this is holding it all. So so this one tooth is holding all four of those You're teeth in. You're kidding. So it literally is like like sticking out like like a branch. Wow. So every time she bites on the side, it squeezes it that much, right? And so it's going to make the the good tooth loose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it's a it's not a, a good problem. Mm. Wow. So do we want to uh, refer to Dr. Miramati for extraction? She come in or? Well, oh yeah, I would just. Why don't we? we yeah, I mean, you can write it up. So I guess I would write it up that our treatment plan is to do that, which is section the bridge from nine, nine and ten, send to the surgeon to extract the root tips of ten and twelve, and then replace with two implants and a new bridge. And then just put down the, you know, the patient may defer treatment until necessary. So that's what we're talking about. Defer treatment until necessary is one option. Like you said, just ride it into the sunset. If it if breaks, it breaks we... then we deal with it. If it doesn't break, then we just acknowledge that it's not great to let it go like that. It could abscess. It could get infected. You know, it could do some other things. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the risk of, of not treating. You know, it could get uh, an abscess up in the... Now yeah. this one, this this one over the far right yeah. had a root canal. I mean, it can still infect, yeah. get infected. The one to the left has not had a root canal and it, it's susceptible to, you know, getting a uh, an abscess. So that one on the right where you see that little black thing, that's no problem? That little, yeah. that's a something, a metal or something. Oh. I'm not sure what it is. This is the problem yeah. right here mm -hmm. is like, the cavity that's up under the gum. Yeah. So, so that's just a patch. Somebody patched that crown a year uh, years ago. So, are you gonna do the cavity? What cavity? Did you say there's a cavity on number on the eight? Bro? On number eight, yeah, um, it's all the way, way to the far left mm. or her right side. No, I I can't I can't I can't fix any of that. Okay. Because. Um, the, the, that would just be like trying to paint over termite damage. You know what I mean? It's, gotcha. the whole wall is gotten disintegrated and, and all we're gonna do is just make it look pretty and that's not good. So no, we can't do that. So the next step is? Okay, so your choices are, again, defer treatment and just let it go and decide if, if it breaks, then do something. Or you take it head on and say, we're just gonna you know, get rid of the bad teeth. So we cut the bridge off at, between the good and the bad tooth, we cut it and take out the half of the bridge, right? And then you go see the surgeon and he takes out those two root tips. Then she doesn't have a risk of infection. But then we have to deal with the replacement part and we can do a couple things. One would be while she's healing from the implants for six months, we could give her one of those, kind of like a partial denture, kind of like a half a denture. It just replaces the missing teeth, okay? And she would wear that for eight months or whatever time it takes us to get the implant and then the bridge, a new bridge. 
The other option, you could just say, let's take all the teeth out and do a denture, which... She says no. I know. <laughs> That's pretty dramatic late in life. I mean, it's dramatic any time in yeah. life, but it, yeah. she's been used to eating everything she wants. Yeah. For, takes her, it takes her some time, but she yeah, does For it. many years, it's, and now we're, we're robbing her of that joy. So I, I would say you strongly consider just deferring treatment until, I mean, it might be a month or a year. I don't know when it'll happen. But if she gets an infection or if, she, or if it breaks the front tooth, then we have to deal with it. Yeah. Right? And she doesn't have any dental insurance because she hardly had any teeth, so she said, I don't want any dental. Yeah. You know. Well, this is not a cheap fix either. Yeah, Just I bet. throwing some numbers at you. Thousands, I bet. Uh, yeah. Um, I know Dr. Miramati would. He's he's one of the more reasonable surgeons anyway. But still, let's let's budget three hundred for the extractions. That's six hundred plus maybe eight hundred dollars mm -hmm. for just getting the bad teeth out. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking at. The implants, which are about twenty five hundred each, that's at five thousand. And then the bridge is gonna be another two, four, six, seven thousand, so twelve thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah, for okay. the bridge. Yeah, implants are expensive. Yeah. So you're probably looking at like twelve thousand dollars. So that's mm -hmm. what I was saying. Strongly consider deferral and and then deal with infection. Yeah, no, you know. if if she, if she gets an infection, she'll know because her gum will swell. And yeah, it'll swell up in the up, up in, in her the cheek. lip. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, under the lip, yeah. the cheek. Yeah. Boy, Marlene, I'm sorry. Well, hey, that's uh, that's what I needed to know. Yeah. All right, Florence. I'm sorry I didn't have better news for you. 